Hello everyone, this is Kyo speaking and this is my very first tutorial video to show how to start working on animations as, such as Miku Miku Dance. First of all, I want to thank you all to support me on my YouTube channel Crossover Incorporated. For those years I've been working on my animations and I have to thank you all for the support. So I decided to show make you a small tutorial how to start for the beginning working on MMD. Okay, first of all, you need to go to this website called Vocaloid Pro Promotion Video Project. Here you have to find any kind of software to make your first animation. All the software you need. First of all, it's free. No need to to install it. Okay, uh, for the very beginning, all you need is all the files directly for to work. Because if not, the program certainly will not start without them. Uh, okay, uh, first of all, all you need to install is the Microsoft Perswell CC 2005 and 2008, and uh, install the list the latest upgrades of DirectX 9 or 10, depend on your computer. Uh, okay, first of all, you're directing to, to the website and it's going direct to your um, directly to your Microsoft website to download the latest version. So I recommend you to change the language, depending on your country. Uh, uh, English, okay, for example. You just download and install like normal you do. That's no need to to be a, a great sorcerer to know about how to this work. Since I already installed it, all you need now is to download the software itself, where it can find the right here, where it says Miku Miku Dance X64. Oh, uh, that will depend if you have it, uh, System 32 bits or 64 bits. If you have a 32 bits, I recommend it to download this one. I don't know if my mouse is showing up, but I think it's not. It's the one point one. This one. One megabyte. Um, for the 64 bit, is this one. All you need to do is to download this software and install. Uh, oh, okay, of course, you don't need to install it. I'm going to show how to make this work up. First of all, you download it. Once you download it, unzip it. I use uh, Bandizip. It's more, uh, it's free and it's very useful for any kind of software you want to use. Okay, it's done. Next step, you can get in the file right here. Normally, uh, one one. Once you install all the drives you need, the DirectX, the Microsoft Plus Plus, Visual Plus Plus, everything you need. For the ah, uh, just to remind me, uh, for the 64 bit, I recommend to install this this one, the the last DirectX uh, 10, I think 10, and the, the last very Visual Microsoft Visual 2008 and 2010. This is the very crucial for your working progress on the program okay next step is to work with the program but since I already have one I decide to remove this one and I am going to use this one I already here okay I click the program and it starts okay from here <laughs> it's a long kind of complicated for you but I'm going to show you how to process for the very beginning first of all this part here is the screen where we can add your characters. This option here, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but I think you don't see my mouse. Let me see if I can add the mouse. Okay, never mind. Here, this option here, you can add the mo model manipulation, where you can see the right on the on the down corner of your screen. Here, this is the interpol interpolation curve where we can uh, smooth the animation for your character. This is the pose camera. As you can see, I can 
give a, a new angle to make your proper animation as the, as the way you want okay uh, to start let's load a character okay let me see uh, I re highly recommend you to add all your models on a user files and an option called model here you can add any model you want as you can see I have tons of them <laughs> okay uh, for the beginning I'm going to use a simple model like mm, let me see okay sailor Miku. no this one oh I, wait a minute mm. oh by the way this one clear look at office created by an uh, sorry created by a man uh, person Deviant art. I'm going to use with air with our hair. Okay, no bad. Press open. I chose the who has been created. Oh, by a friend of mine, Sarita Chen. High five to you, man. Oh, girl, has been, been. <coughs> sorry if I get wrong. Okay, here he is. Very beautiful. Here you can start from beginning. Here, okay, first of all, I'm going to show you how to manipulate the model. All you need is go to Bone Manipulation down below on the corner here. Press Select, and you see all the bones from each part of the body, like for the legs. As you can see, if I try to remove remove it. Uh, just click on rotate if you want but if you see she's not even moving it's because she have the foot rig stuck on the floor that means you can do anything <laughs> to, to start with it if you want to remove you can go to uh, this option here on the, on the exception model of manipulation and unregister every single thing like this one click on up register click on now there to of register null zero three of register and null of register from here for example if I try to move her and I click select all she's go up and down and I can even move her like normally like you normally do like this okay let's start from the beginning and put the character back to his position okay next step to make animation this is the very crucial part to make your own animation you see this part here I don't know if you can see okay this part here this is the time manipulation or frame manipulation if you want to call that bone or and it depends on what kind of thing you want to start with your animation. Let's, for example, give you a little pose. First of all, I select one bone. If you want to select a part of a bone, I recommend you click on, on the bone you want to select. As you can see, I can click it and you see a red dot. It turns into a red dot. To remove to, I mean, to remove, not to remove, to manipulate the arms or legs. Uh, just a moment, I think I'm going to change this back to black. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, black background. I'm going to black background and you see here all the details softly. Um, next step, I'm going to give a pause. You see there, uh, there are three red dots here on the left. I mean on the right no, on the right side sorry okay here on the Z you can move up and down your arm like you can normally do on uh, any other animation the Y button is going to fall back that depends the way you want if you can see if you can see here you can see the lines of each bone and the red one you can change the position where you want to add the, the, the animation pose. 
so but I really recommend it first of all I'm going to put her arm back down since she's on tiptoes once done as you can see the dots look like green all you have to do is press enter once done as you can see the the green disappear that means it's automatically registered in the time on the frame manipulation next one press enter and everything is working fine if you if I go directly to the next pose she's always taking the same the same pose now let's start to make an uh, animation for example let's make uh, Luca waving for us more simple than that normally most part of the, the, the tutorial video on YouTube is just that, that simple mo modification okay to start select this part of the bone and uh, I recommend you to start on 5 seconds 0 to 5 here you can just move up closely click enter as you can see here a little red dot appear that is the next frame as you can see here I can move and her move as well every time you move a bone recommend it just record it that means I, you have to press enter each time you move next step in the, on the front 10 just move this, this the forearm rotate a little bit further like this think okay yes i'm making a little mistake okay press enter as you can see here if i move up exactly that means uh, if you don't regis register this bone before on 10 you make all uh, directly um, uh, a direct pose uh, let me show you as you can see <laughs> it's a little bit faster so to make this more simple just select the, the dot and drag and drop with your left button mouse next step this one I recommend 10 to 10 frames per second like this one on 15 this one on 20 now let's show exactly and to make this animation more smooth it I really recommend you to select all register and it's uh, this option on interpolation curve you have to select the, the timeline that means the speed of the movement of the, the animation the more soft the more curvy you make the more soft the animation becomes so I make this one at this pose next step and just I just press enter oops uh, sorry I mean this one I make uh, um, press enter and you can see you can see directly another frame just select the direction you want any direct direct the more, the more curvy it becomes the more soft and smooth the animation become will become next step on 20 just press enter on this bone and select the direction of the interpolation curve the more uh, curvy the interpolation becomes, the more smooth the image becomes. As you can see, it draws a little bit more smoothly as you normally do on any other software animation. Um, okay, let's make the next step. Just okay on the post 30. Select the upper upper arm. I think it's the upper arm. Okay, let's move a little bit up. Press enter. Let's give it a little bit some emotions. Okay, first of all, before before uh, 
typing the register on the next one I recommend it to register for example this one press enter and you can see another dot appears that means it's the dot where you decide to register on the part of the curve uh, I mean the, uh, the bone just like just like so like this one frame 30 uh, let's just give a little, a little bit. Oh, I uh, forgot. Wait a minute. Uh, let me show. Stop this. I'm just going to change this to on. This one to on, and this one to on. Okay, again. Okay. Now everything is back because once you you register to on, the bones will. And as you can normally see, exactly, the bones will fix on the floor. That means if you don't register this part, the legs going going after <laughs> the upper body. <laughs> okay, let's back to reset. Let me see. Everything is done. Uh, no. Register. Okay. This one is registered. Okay. And this is as well. Okay. Next step. Let's make, give him um, a little bit. Just let me delete this one. Okay. Ah. Okay. Next. Uh, what the hell? You didn't register. What the hell? That's kind of weird. Okay. Let's give me. Ah. Okay now it's working it's because the register of each bone I decided to register it was on the next frame that means if, I, if I'm going to, to frame 10 the pose go back to zero that means I register on just on the 30 <laughs> that's kind of weird but it's, it's true normally it sh should be back to the beginning but that's okay okay next step as you can see here she give a little bit a little bit curve let me show you okay okay oh let me try to fix a little problem here okay okay i should this on, on the very beginning i should not remove the bones and then like an idiot I remove it okay as you can see here if I'm going back this to this one it's going back normally exactly that's the point okay for 10 the frame of 20 to 30 the bone manipulation is back to on that means this one is off but that's okay uh, next step let me give me a little bit okay move the next okay this one change back to 10 always remember 10 by 10 frames I really recommend to make a little smooth animation okay press enter remove this one press okay this goes here and it ah, okay this goes here Okay, if I'm going exactly. Okay, let me show, give me a little bit more expression. Uh, then, okay, I'm going to change a little bit here. I press enter. I uh, should not. Okay, now I press reset because he's going back to his, his normal route. Just press enter, and here you can see the burn is already registered. That means you cannot move this part. If you want to remove, just press reset and press, type enter. Now, next step, I'm going to rotate a little bit ahead, like this. Press enter. Once done, always press enter as you can see the animation is not so 
but I'm just trying, just trying to give you the best try as possible and then you can use your own will to make your own animation back to the roots next step okay on the front 15 just give me a little bit of arm just try to reach the before to, to the next one just remember once this one register you have to register the same before the, the next because if the pulse change on every single time it normally you can anticipate the movement of your <laughs> character that I made so many many, many mistakes before on my on my videos I make on Sonic and Miku some pulse are already move very 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 fast but it's something I can make some mistakes. <laughs> Next step, okay. I'm just going a little bit further up like this. Uh, back to 40, register, back to 50, change the pose. Oh, sorry. Press enter. As you can see, before start to make animation just remember to always register in the next uh, the firm key before work on the next step because the animation will, will be messed up next step next i mean next step change the position head like this we press enter i think yeah ah, okay let me show okay i'm going to press to copy the bone what i select you can see on the bone manipulation you can see the copy going to the next paste it as you can see the the, the head uh, turned back to his normal inferior pose just press register and voila Okay, let me see how this is working. Okay, it's not as perfect as you might think. <laughs> but as you can see, it's just this uh, small idea how to make your animation work perfectly. Now that is up to you to make for the very first time. Normally, it will take some time to get to it. Next step, let's just move I just uh, I'm not I gave an idea I'm just registered the end bone right here and the next I'm going to like make her wi waving the her hand okay it's on the red one no on the green one okay like this press enter on frame 17 just press on the green okay like this press enter oh if you want to give it the, the interpolation curve always remember each time I have completely forgot it ah damn it mm, I have an idea okay so like all oh, I'm just going to copy as, as you can see here on the interpolation curve you have a little button say copy every time you use the next pose just click paste it automatically the interpolation will copy the curve directly to the bone while, while you select on the next frame the bone the, the interpolation will always be the same paste it as you can see if i remove it and i'm going to paste it automatically it's going back to a normal roots next step i'm just a little bit wavy a little bit further like this press enter next step once again press enter uh, now for the eyes and the, the face and the mouth there's an, uh, another option as you can see here there's a an option called the facial manipulation this part it show how to make 
the face and expression work for her, for the character. Like, for example, let's let's make her blinking. Normally, as you can see this, the word I kind of mess up because my Japanese view is kind of not working as perfectly I was expecting. For example, if I select this one, it normally is weak. Winking, uh, no. It's probably this, ah, okay, it's this one. Okay, before to record the next frame for the, the, the expression, like the eyes, the mouth, or even make her angry, like her, her eyebrows moving up and down, always type H. H on your keyboard, of course. As you can see, a little dot appear on the on the very 90 seconds. If I'm going to like half like 93, for example, I make her close her eyes, slow it down, and press H. On the next, I mean, 10 100 sec uh, frame, I just wave her up her uh, eyes and press H once again. Always re record if you press register on the facial manipulation, it will not register directly. That means if you open the mouse on the next step, she will open anticipate it. That means you completely mess up. Just let give me a, an idea. As you can see, her eyes have moving. Uh, oh, before to select the, the, the character, you have to go to model manipulation and automatically it's gone. This one is the camera pose where you can have rotation, like you give me. Uh, I'm, this, this one is going just after a, a, a while. Let's just give you a little bit more expression, like this. Okay, the, is she smiling or she's okay? I think not. This one is not working. Mm, strange. Oh yeah, I remember. I think it's after this one is working. Okay, none of this work. Strangely enough, some most part of the bones. Oh, this one is working. You like his wide ear mouth. Ah, this is give you an expression of sad or mad. This one is happy, as you can see here. And if I oh, okay, this one is show her tongue. Okay, like she's she's looking at some little cookie, something like, something like that. She hungry. <laughs> Okay, now that's a little bit tasty girl. Okay, next step. Okay, a little smirk. <laughs> this one, a little smirk on the left. White hoop. Ah, okay. And like a uh, nyan pose, nyan, nyan voice, nyan. Oh, smiley cat. This one, ah, okay. This is the pose I wanted to if first of all always register on press, pressing edge on the bone I mean on the frame manipulation I rec recommend 110 just open right mouth and say ah okay as you can see here once done her mouth close and she opens slowly let me give you an example. Exactly. That means if you don't register on here, she automatically opened her mouth smoothly, wide open, on probably on the frame 18 until 110. That means you have to register before like 10 or 5, 10, 10 frames. Yes, yeah, I can say that 10 frames. Okay, I think I'm going to give enough expression. Let's go back to zero. Next step. 
is the um, camera manipulation. Let's give him. Okay. The camera is quite hard to manipulate. I can uh, not so hard as you may expect. The left uh, always use the right button of your mouse to move right, up, down. Oops, sorry. Uh, don't demonetize me, please. <laughs> okay, I just press enter on the camera. As you can see, on the frame of frame manipulation, you can see a red button on the camera. That means if I'm going back to the model like this, I'm going back to the camera. Up, it's automatically go back to the mo the pose I gave her. Let's give her something like 20, tw 20. I mean 20. Okay, let's give it. Okay, like this. Uh, I just use the scroll mouse button for the mouse to approach. Or if you want, you can use this here like the green the red if you want to back to left to right or the z to go front zoom it or zoom out i'm going right here and i press enter i give it a little bit like this i press a little bit the camera go a little bit up press enter Okay, I think this will be enough. Let me. Okay, this probe is a little bit fast. Don't you think? Okay. To make this more simple, here's a simple task to make. Just select the, uh, for example, the the um, the frame 35, and slightly add like to 17. And this one on 20 give me give me to like 40 for example let's try exact as you can see the pose the animation comes the camera runs most smoothly as you can see exact okay well, I think will be this will be enough to show you the direct move. Sorry, to direct the, the direct direction, the right direction to make a start an animation like this one. As you can see here, every single part of the bones show a different pose. Always remember to register the same bone on the front, like for example on the frame ninety register the pose the the bone on the next one give me another different pose and register because if she for let, let me give me an example for example uh, i don't register like this i just keep like this. if i go to 130 and i go sliding like like that like this for example it will be completely broken let me show you an example As you see, the bone directly slide down, like she's completely out of control. That means you have to register always before the next this one. The same bone you have to register before one on this pose. Just I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to delete it, and it's going back to normal. As you can see. Okay, uh, probably I think I give you enough information. To make your start your own animation, just go wild, just not too much because you don't like crazy things as you might expect. And um, it's probably the best I can show you until, until now, and probably give you more in the next future. Like for example, give the effect, but this one I just probably give on the next tutorial because this will be simple enough to make your first very first animation from the beginning to end so guys thank you so much for for watching give a like if you want it if you don't like just 
do whatever you want. <laughs> and uh, until then, see you next time. Bye, guys.